check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, Wes Head, my friend, little world, little curious not to know. See, today I'm in Stockton, California at the big high school. A, a year ago, a young girl got killed in a parking lot. Her name was Alicia. She was 15 years old and firstly stabbed a six times in the parking lot. And now to some disturbing developing news out of Central California. Police are trying to figure out why a man allegedly stabbed a 15-year-old girl outside her Stockton High School. Investigators believe it was a random attack. Alicia Trinaga was killed on the campus of Stag High School yesterday morning. Police say the 52-year-old suspect drove to the school and entered the campus through a gate before stabbing Alicia several times times. Officers later arrested this man, identified as Anthony Gray. Prosecutors have charged him with murder. Detectives are still trying to determine a motive. Meantime, the school district is now reevaluating its security. How there is security around our schools and how our kids should be safe. Also, this can't have a history of uh, people showing up at our school schools and doing not bad things, but was wandering around for a while until somebody takes a while so he noticed that they're doing something. So I'm going to talk more about the guy who did it. So this place is more mostly scared most citizens. So basically what happened, uh, Anthony Gray drove his uh, car into the parking lot, chased uh, two female students. He grabbed one of them and faintly stabbed Alicia over like but I tried to walk around and see there can be any kind of memorial thing for her, but it's been over a year, so it's kind of unfortunately you know, a young 15 year old. I guess she hates and her classmates. And the first thing, you know, a young girl died this run away, especially the place where she'd be, she'd be felt being sick. So pretty much it was a nonsense uh, crime for this young girl getting murdered. Uh, the, the Dr. And PD in the records say it was bam, attacked. But, you know, I don't know why he chose this school, why he decided to choose those two girls, we'll never know. So I did a follow-up, I looked at some videos of him, he tried to plead guilty, his lawyer said he wants to talk to a doctor because he had a history of mental case, but he did a rap sheet, goes back to 1989, mostly in the San Francisco Bay area, but not in this uh, San Juan Cuida area at all, in the county. So, and firstly, you know, I hope she rests in peace. And firstly, I mean, one place where she should be feel safe. Didn't really do anything. And then there's a lot of debates about uh, people in this county uh, walking in the schools while anybody uh, stopping them. So it's, it's been an ongoing thing in this uh, county. So, so they had to beef up security. You can tell how every gate is locked. And the history of people, like, you know, Homeless people staying here, other things happening during uh, up school hours. And so I pay for respect to her family. I'm, you know, too bad somebody that young had to die that way. So let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, maybe do better next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.